All right, guys, welcome to this video. We're here in Puerto Rico. This is our travel day where we can be tourists and just kind of get to take in the scenes of the island. It has been a long time since I've wanted to come out here. I've been talking about it forever. A lot of my friends in Florida are from Puerto Rico and it just feels like it's been a long time coming. And guess who's here showing us around? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Randy's here, our new friend Pedro. have been kind of giving us a tour of the island. So this is El Yunque. El Yunque, yes. National Rainforest here in Puerto Rico. One of the, one of the main attractions to Puerto Rico, aside from the beaches and all the other nice festivities that there are to do. We tried to uh, fib our way in to go see the waterfalls, but you need to have a 24 hour reserve. So yeah. it didn't work. It bummed out. We tried to bribe him, but Bad Bunny's cousin doesn't let us in. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we've been uh, kind of driving around. We're going to see some other stuff today. And uh, I don't know, it's pretty sick. This road, I got to show. I was talking about how cool it would be if like, you know, some national parks let you rent out roads for hill climbs. This road is like constant diving corners. It's full of tourists, so everyone drives slow, but it's the coolest scenery, the coolest vibes. Oh, I love it here. Everyone's so nice, so beautiful. I didn't even notice the water out there. Claire, is this your first time in Puerto Rico? It is. It's pretty crazy considering you're Puerto Rican, huh? I know, and I've always wanted to be here, and then ever since I met Randy, we've been talking about it. Oh, when are we gonna go? When are we gonna go? Like six years ago, right? A few, a few <laughs> years ago. Well, yeah, but now yeah, we're here. <laughs> we're here now. So, I'm excited. It's just day one. I'm digging your vacation fit, Randy. You know, It me. looks good. Hey, dude, it's, I'm in shorts too for you probably the first me. time in like two years. So this is a big <laughs> moment. The sick ass whip. Oh, I'll put it in the sport for you, Randy. All right, show him the rainforest toge. Okay. Oh, holy puppy! Oh, the little stuff. Is that a puppy or a horse? Puppy, come in! Come in! Open the door! Let me open the door! Oh. Colette's been on a quest to take home a dog from Puerto Rico. No. Colette, that's puppy. someone's dog. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Are There's a bronco behind us. Do we have any food? Bon? Yeah. No. Do we have any food? No. Jump in! Oh no! She no. wants to get a Puerto Rican puppy and name him Paco. <laughs> or Paki. They're all cousins. Like, these guys are all brothers. Are you Randy you talking to? Oh, yeah, that's where the last dude was <laughs> It's pretty cool. National Park's not the place to toke. No. So we're on a little detour. Randy is taking us to a tunnel where uh, apparently street racing is pretty big and he's gonna give us a little bit of history and culture over there. And we pull up to a gas station in the middle of farmland. <laughs> and sure enough, they've got race fuel and race jugs just chilling in the window. MR12, C9, 110, 114, BP 110. You think they have premix for rotaries here? They probably do. Probably. There's a lot of rotaries here, huh? Yo, imagine just being at the gas station and being able to pick up some freaking M1. I gotta send a photo to Jimmy. He's gonna die. I knew Puerto Rico was small, but I had no idea how small it was. We've pretty much driven half the island and it's only been three hours. I guess what they were saying is you could take Puerto Rico and you could put it like in central Florida and it would basically be the same size, so. I always thought it was a much bigger island, but it's cool. We've gotten to see so much and it's very, very, very beautiful. But anyways, they made these these tunnels and they utilized them for street racing, either half mile or dig racing and stuff like that. And they've actually held events here where they've blocked all this off and they have just, you know, you pretty much just take the tunnel and, and race. But actually, we're going to hit the first one here. Ah, by contact down to the what? Oh, over there. Over there. Yeah, over there. Flashes on the stuff here. Yeah, these look like some Japan tunnels. Yeah, dude, they're pretty sick. Are they downhill? Um, no, nah, they're pretty straight. You'll they're see right now, it's about an eighth straight. mile long. They're pretty straight. This probably sounds so sick. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll get some fly bars. I was wishing that before I had to make a post to try to get some people out here and do some passes. This is so cool. They would hook up to these boxes and find a way to actually use these lights up here for staging. And sometimes they'll just go, you know, old style. Are you ready? Set? And hands down, ready to go. Pedro, you're saying corners aren't very big in Puerto Rico, it's mostly drag racing? Yep. Why do you think? Well, it's, just, it's just the culture, you know? We've, we've, got, we've got all these records, we love rotaries, and we just love going straight. Yeah. That's sick. The second I stopped filming, a BMW SUV just ripped it through here. I'm just gonna leave the camera rolling and see what comes around. I'm sick of waiting, I wanna hear someone go fast, so we're gonna pull the airbox out of this thing. Randy's gonna put that CVT to work. Yes, sir. This thing's seen better days, huh? Cool. Yeah, just pull that bitch out. Good old rental car trick. There we go. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Stop at this little random restaurant because it's got a sick view. Looks beautiful. And a sick road on this side too. That's too. Like Crazy. Um, nice little platter. Top got going on. Juca frita. Juca frita. I've been seeing a lot of mirages here in Puerto Rico. Is that common? That is very, very common. And that one is Chobiao. What does that mean? That's when the car's like this. Like reeked? Yeah. So, so in, in Puerto Rican out. So you see what I mean, Colette? How like it's basically like the same as like a Evo rear, even though it's a two door. So you can do like a two door Evo conversion on them. Yeah. Like, Remember that time you tried to tell me you got an Evo and it was actually a Mirage? Yeah, and I freaked you out. It was great. And now you own Evo, and it's much better. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Mirage owners change the oil from the back. <laughs> <laughs> Guy. <laughs> we uh, we tried to stop by Starbucks. It was a tiring day. We got not that much sleep because we were up super late last night getting food and experienced Puerto Rico last night. And uh, now we're heading into, what's it called, Arecibo? Arecibo Racetrack, yep. We're about to watch this man's do some drifting and some drag racing yeah, and the locals. That. And that midnight. Starbucks the track or McDonald's? What? Starbucks the track or McDonald's? Which one? McDonald's. Oh, okay, McDonald's. All right, McDonald's got me this. <laughs> Feels like home when there's a Z around. The city looks sick at night. Quick pit stop before the track. Got myself a Nanner, some burgers, an energy drink. What the heck are those, dude? Bro, you can't get these in the States. These are like original Cheeto cheese balls. Love it. Love it. I'm getting OSW and Puerto Rico vibes pulling up here. <laughs> Hell yeah, I see some E36 shirts in the crowd, that's sick. Oh yeah. I'm finished, I'm stoked to see some drag racing out here. Definitely. Trying to run the rental? Hey, I'm ready bro. <laughs> Damn, the promo's over and you took it home, huh? Yo, that's sick. Actually, I took it before it was over. Oh, you did? I did. <laughs> well, I want to take one of these to my place, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's sick. I've been seeing a lot of eight sixes here, actually. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of new ones too. Yo, hola. Hell yeah. <laughs> Just a single cam, but it sounds cool. <laughs> what is it loud? Why are you laughing? He has a trick of it. Uh oh, <laughs> you're gonna see <laughs> what he does. All right. So it's pretty cool, the pits that they use for drag racing all this parking here actually clears out and then they use it for drifting. So we're watching drag racing, there's a couple more passes and then they're gonna close it down for some drifting. Is this motor? No. Looks I, sick. I think it's like a box. Civic thing. sick too. I wish I got to ride in yours, your 13B Samurai. 600 wheel in one of these things? Yes sir. That's crazy. I'm, I'm having withdrawals. I'm having withdrawals. To drag events. I think you're gonna have to find me a samurai back home after watching these things, dude. Oh. You know so what? Cool. I, you know what I've always wanted to do though, what? like real G, SR20 in a samurai. I'm down, dude. Dude, let's do it. The rotor shit's so cool too. Oh. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. <laughs>
drift cars over here. About to start shredding. So we got 13s, FRSs, BRZs, Zs, BMWs, the Losters. I think this thing, A6, hell yeah. A little bit of everything. We got the FC chilling over here. It's gonna be sick. I'm stoked to watch these guys shred. Got a pretty cool layout set up over here and about an hour left to shred. Are you sure you trust me with this thing? For sure. Right. <laughs> can you? I, I gotta ask a favor. Can you hold my camera in addition to yours in the car? Uh, what? Can you hold my camera too? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, man. You wanna hit it again? Feel free for it. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. I'll make it as smooth as, as smooth as I can. Let it rip, dude. Let's go. One up, one up, one up. cars here everyone shreds what? What? Yeah, un momento. everybody shreds one thing I noticed driving other people's cars uh, definitely it's a few setup things that can make their lives a lot easier so I was just telling everyone to air up the front bunch and air down the rear because all the cars are driving around but everyone 
I had a lot of fun. Good old K and the night. Love you, nice 240. Nobody does it better than Puerto Rico, does it? This is amazing. Yeah. Let's it's move fun. here. Let's oh, move. let's move here. Let's I just want to say for the record, Ready, let's move here. it took Colette to bring Adam to Puerto Rico to get him in a rotary, baby. Yeah, it happened. Woo! We're in Randy's hometown, going to get some, how do you say, is it gyro or euro? It's a euro. All right. Okay. En español es un gyro. ¿Y qué es un gyro? Un gyro. ¿Qué es un gyro? Una tortilla con carne. Así como, es parecido a un taco. If you guys live in Puerto Rico, you'll get a kick out of this. Colette is in the front seat right now, on the city roads, doing her makeup. And me this and Randy. This is like level 10. <laughs> A makeup challenge. Uh, me and Randy are dying laughing. Uh, since I'm not brain dead anymore about last night, uh, that was so cool. The community is so nice here. Everyone was rad. Everyone shredded. I think the only takeaway was just that, like, if I can send a set of toe plates out here and just give a little bit of advice of like tire compound and tire pressure, I think some of the cars that people are driving were just a struggle, especially like me hopping in them, realizing how much they shred when I can barely link the track. I think a little bit of setup tips will help like make everyone shred on a completely another level. And just so you guys know, if you're watching this video and you might be struggling with some of the same things spinning out or whatever, usually it comes from having too much front grip. So the easiest thing to do is to air down the rear, air up the front. But when you have like over centering issues and stuff, usually I'll advise to start adding some toe out to the front or obviously making sure you don't have any toe out in the rear. Cause that'll just make the car one up. So usually at these shows, uh, I end up just kind of hanging out and talking and taking photos with people all day. So hopefully I'll get to walk around and see the cars, but I can tell you yesterday we came to drop off some stuff and I got to see some of the cars that would be in the show. And overall first impression, every car is really clean, but the paint on all of them looked wet as f And Randy, you were saying, homies out here be painting at their house and their garage and stuff. Oh yeah, old school, you know? They'll, they'll put up four pieces of plastic and uh, let's go at it, you know what I mean? A lot of cars though with like complete color changes. I guess I'm gonna go on a limb and say that it wasn't wrapped because the paint looked too good, but like every car was getting unloaded from trailers like wet as Oh yeah. And it wasn't raining when they were getting unloaded. I'll tell you what, what else is wet as <laughs> is the way that these guys put their Almorol on these tires. Yeah? Dude, we will see probably the wettest Almorol ever. Like, I did see some like real glossy Jeep tires yesterday. Yeah, they're, they're sick, it's sick. I think this is one of the first all indoor shows I've been to, so it's pretty cool and exciting. Damn, that forklift is sick though. It's a new fanny pack. It's a good looking forklift. <laughs> so it's only open at VIP right now. I'm really excited to walk around and look at some cars here. I feel like if any takeaway from Puerto Rico, it's gonna be that we need to build a samurai. Oh my god, we're I wish I bought samurai. your old one, dude. Oh, I so, would have so appreciated that because I could have gone over, watched it for you, you know, just Let's find it. Let's still get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go. I'm I down. know you know who has it. I know. Hey, trust me, I know who has it. <laughs> Everything here is on a drag pack setup. I love it. God, dude, that is sick. <laughs> So sick. Dude, what the f I'm telling is you, this? we love absolutely anything that has to go fast. We do drag style buses, trucks, the whole nine, you name it. What is this? Is this a is this made for drag racing? Yes, it is a full slick tire. These things haul ass, dude. This thing's probably making like close to probably like 2,000 horsepower and like 6,000 pounds of torque. <laughs> so crazy. Hey, folks are ended, right? You know there's some fast Civics around here too. Damn, I love the yellow. Look at how clean it is too. I love when race cars are also show cars. How much power do you think something like this probably makes? Um, that one is an NA car. If it's on 50-50 nitromethane, it'll probably make like three to 400 horsepower. How do you know it's NA just from looking at it? Uh, it doesn't have a hood exit. Uh. There's, a lot of these cars don't. And being that the, it has a center hole, it's probably a K-series. It's a lot of power. Good point. So. It's sick. This A6 also, that I, uh, I don't know if I filmed this to show you guys with the 2J, but I love how it's stock interior. I'm a big stock interior guy, so to have a crazy swap like this, still have it look bone stock inside, it's my jam. I 
probably can even admire half the detail on this thing. Check out the blue vibrant clamps. Interior. You like that? It's an R8. So sick. Yeah, twin turbo. Do they sell that? Yeah, the blue. It's sick, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Damn. I haven't even seen that before. That's cool. He's even got a carbon brake booster. Go to the. We've been mentioning the Mirages are big here, Evos are big here. I just found my lineup right here. Check out the paint on this. So sick. Evo. 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 There's so many. I want to look at all these cars in detail. So this is like the two-door style Evo, the Mirage with all the Evo parts on it. it. Looks pretty neat. It's the first one I've seen in person. And then this would be one without the Evo kit on it. Is yeah. that a Mirage? It's a Mirage. It's right. crazy. They're cool. So I could be wrong, but I think some of these might be conversions. I never have seen a left-hand drive Evo unless they're converted to left-hand drive. So these might be Mirages that are converted into Evos, which is pretty cool because they all look super clean. I love these things. You don't see that every day. ITV NA2J in an 8.6. Uber rare seats in here. These are so sick. Some clean turbo twos. Always a sucker for a clean interior. Drag quads. This shit, you're, they race everything, huh? I'm telling you. We make everything go fast. Draw more, whatever you need. We'll do it. Wait. This thing James is sick. I love it, the yellow on the blue. This is kind of what I was going for with my chaser, but it's executed way better than I did. This thing is sick. You guys mostly know this, not a big car show person, so I was pleasantly surprised to see so many race cars here. Uh, it kind of reminds me of PRI because there's a lot of cars that are super clean like show cars, but also from a motorsports perspective, here especially in the drag world, like everything's super clean, super meticulous, you can tell it's built to race, built to perform, um, and it kind of it gets me excited because I get ideas looking at stuff and I love seeing how different people execute it, but pleasantly surprised and I've been thoroughly enjoying walking around the show. Rotary powered RC car. Randy ordered the full sampler. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? Alcaburias, croquetas, quesitos, sorullitos, bacalaitos, tamales. <laughs> so stoked to try my first mofongo. She got the chicken mofongo. I've got the, the steak mofongo. Randy's got the mofongo soup. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes later. <laughs> Colette's favorite thing about Puerto Rico, the slippery when wet signs bananas. look like banana peels. So even if you don't understand the language, <laughs> as I'm saying it, as it says wet floor in English, you know, banana peels are slippery. Mofongo! Mofongo! Hay mucha lluvia en la calle. Es verdad? Es verdad? Es verdad? Mucha lluvia. It's sad. Jota, jota. Que conmigo. Que conmigo. Es el finalmente día en Puerto Rico. Hace lluvia. Vamos a comer desayuno. Cerca del mar. El coche rojo, coche negro. Vamos a viajar a Atlanta for drifting. Sí. Fue un coche bueno, sí. <laughs> it's awesome. Look at this. 
Taking goods well back home. Mmm, comida bueno. Mm. Pop tarts are on the way. That's muy bonita. <gasps> Hamburguesa? Que asco! Quieres? You had this. <laughs> She's a fing big bite out of it. <laughs> Pan? Pan? Mm hmm. Yeah. Bistec? Bistec. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, wait. Uh, queso? Queso. Queso. Lechuga? Lechuga. Y pan. I like the lettuce word. Oops, sorry. La hamburguesa. Delicio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd need this. Try. That's so much gummy. Mmm. <laughs> Le gusta? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Paco. <laughs> Paco. Let's do it, Randy. I love that we both Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes, I you know, delicious. Mm. This is mm. like the. Ay, Dios mío. This is only half. It's, it's so only half. It's 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 only half. Not only does he tape cards, he tapes boxes too. <laughs> and that's it for the Puerto Rico video. Had a blast. Now we're heading off to the Atlanta Motorsports event. I want to give a massive thank you to Randy, a massive thank you to Pedro, and all of the locals that showed us love there. It was an awesome experience, and I can't wait to go back soon. Thank you guys for watching.